Hey, my name is Janelle McClarty. I'm the owner and founder of EncoreWebsites.com. And today I'm going to be showing you how to use Canva for your business. So let's get started. So you're going to go to Canva.com and you're going to see this interface right here where you, if you don't have an account, you're going to have to register, so sign up for an account right here. They have accounts for educators, so teachers or student accounts. They have accounts for a lot of different scenarios. Oops. Yeah, so small businesses, large companies, nonprofits, or just personal. So I have my account already set up. I'm just going to log right in. So there we are. Um, let me show you around. So I have some ads that some like social media postings that I created, Facebook posts and all that stuff. Um, even flyers that I made. So let me show you a little bit of that. So this is a flyer that I made for a contracting company. This is an Instagram special that we had. This was just an Instagram post and post for this women's group that I'm a, that I'm a part of. Um, this is actually I make on my YouTube um, covers using Canva. So this is a YouTube cover. I have a video called How to Use Snapchat for Your Business, How to Organize Your Phone, so app organization. There's so many, like I use this for a lot of things. Um, let me show you like around this main dashboard. So it gives you these main, like top used um, templates. So social media posts, like this is the sizing it would be. So you just click on this and then click on this and then it would just show you automatically like other designs and all that stuff just within the size. Um, Facebook posts is this size, so 940 pixels by 780, and this is 800 by 800, so it's more square. Um, this is the flyer size, 5 by 7, it's like a regular paper, um, paper flyer, um, photo collage, the medium rectangle, business cards, and then you have more options, so it's like custom, you can do custom dimensions, so if you know exactly what size you want things. Um, then we have, so this is all my designs here, this is the tab we're in. Then we have designs that were shared with me, so if I was working with someone, they would I can like invite them to work on a design with me. So we can work on it together, which is pretty cool. I can create a team to work with me if I want to. So up to 10 members are free. So I don't really have a design team. I'm doing things myself right now. But if you do, that would be cool. This is a really cool tab right here. It's called Your Brand. So basically, these are my exact brand colors for my website. So this is my website, EncoreWebsites.com, and you see here we have the yellow, we have the black, we have the white, but that's my brand. So look, we have the black, the yellow, the white, and then we do have gray. So it's a gray undertone as well throughout our site. So it's the exact colors that I pulled from my branding of like everything, my business cards, website, all that, I put them here. And this is basically my brand kit, and it was like um, even my fonts. Like I can put my specific brand fonts, which I don't have yet, but I want to get. And then I can put my logo here as well. So basically, everything for your brand is automatically here. And when you're creating something, you can just pull from this area very easy. Like it actually gives you like an option. And then we have the find template section, so we can find different templates for things. So imagine um, you're making, imagine like this was supposed to be for a vacation post. So a Facebook vacation post. So you can take this template and just take out these words and add like um, trip for two to Jamaica, blah 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 visit www. like you can just use this for whatever inspiration you want. Same with here, like imagine it's like a superhero type thing you want to advertise something about, so you can use that. So imagine if you're advertising your baking services, you can use this one right here. So that would be cool. 
and then we have explore topics. So same thing. It's like we can instead of finding just a template like we did in the template section, you can do it by the actual topic. So is it something for business and admin material that I need? So I'll click here. And then it'll give me like letterheads, invoicing options, ID card options. Is it a school project? Is it something for branding? Um, is it a social media thing? So it just gives you a different way of searching for what you're looking for. Instead of finding the template, you just find it by the topic. And then we have, I have my folders. So basically I work with, um, I work on a lot of projects. So this is for a contracting company. I've done some projects for them. Um, I didn't put it in the folder, but it's like flyers that I made. You've seen the flyers in the first one. Like this flyer was made for 24 hour contracting. And there's a couple other things I made for them. Um, then I have my Encore folder, so I'm going to put a lot more stuff in here. And then I have my other company folder, which is coming soon, this company. And then the option to upgrade. So I'll show you what the upgrading options look like. Oh, they're giving me a 3 day free trial, but I don't really need this, but it says you have access to more free photos, because right now they give you access to some free photos. I don't know how many. Um, you can organize your uploads and designs with unlimited folders because right now the folders that I have are limited. I don't know how many, but I'll check that for you. Um, you can easily resize your designs with magic resize. So right now we can, I can just do the custom sizes, whatever I want, but this allows a magic resize, quote unquote, so it does it automatically for you. And then it says you can save your brand colors and fonts, well, which I can already do that right now with whatever whatever plan I have. Um yeah, so I'm actually on the free plan, so you can do a lot with this free plan. So I wanna show you how to create a design. So right now I'm creating a design for the maintenance plan that I just opened up on my website and I need something to replace this right here this one month free trial area so I don't like this it's not like custom enough for me but I want the same words so one month free trial I want something that is a rectangle shape um, let's see hmm. it's kind of like a banner yeah so something like this like a banner style Then, since I press banner, then we have all these things up here. So, this, just looking at this first one, it looks pretty cool because I can put just one monthly job of home right there in that section. I look for things that are like similar in color scheme to what I want. But, here's the thing I think I want this to be very, very simple. So, let me just pick something. Okay, we have this. I do not want that color. I want it to be in the brand colors. See how it says brand colors right there? I'm going to change that to that. And it says change all. That would be cool. Okay, so change all the words to that. Or all the colors. I want this to be a little thicker, if possible. So we're going to go to elements. Um, just go to shapes. Nope, don't like that. So if you don't like something, you just press delete on your keyboard. Highlight it, let's press it, and then press delete. I don't like that either. I don't like this one. A more rounded look. So let me just put it over this one. Yeah, let me just take this out. Let me that. Let me use this instead. See how they have the grid lines to guide you and if you're centered or not? I'm going to put this in my brand color now. Boom. The background. 
I don't think I like this background. Um, I'm going to take out this background. And uh, I want to make background. I think I want black. Black. Yeah. Black background. And then we're going to. I'm going to hit the black background actually where it's supposed to go. Wow, I like it already. <laughs> it's looking clean. I'm going to take out this text right here. Oh. I hate when I have a problem selecting. Um, so arrange. Let's push that back. Okay, now I can start. Okay, so what I just did was when you press something, like let's say I press the background and I press arrange, Bringing it forward means that it's basically going to be on top of everything. So it's going to be on top, the black background is going to be on top of this text area, on top of this thing. Bringing it back means it's going to be behind, so it's going to be layered behind these things. So I just, that's why I wasn't able to click on this, because for some reason this text was behind the black background, basically. That's what it looked like. So I'm going to go here. I'm gonna bold. I just press Control B for bold, and I'm going to put my website on our websites.com there. I'm going to put the see, look. I'm trying to click this. It won't go. I'm gonna click arrange, and then click back, and then click this unit there. <laughs> so this needed to be run forward. So I'm going to go to the text that I want. One month free trial. One month free trial. I think I want free trial. If not, or actually I think I want this centered. Or, I think I want this like that. <laughs> like, you can play around a lot with this. So, I have one more. Let me try it. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Here. And then I think I want like an image of something. What would that thing be? One more I want to center this more, so see that means like it's centered, like from top to bottom centered. Now I'm gonna look for something. Let's search. Mm. Oops, let me see if I spell this. I spelled trial wrong, okay. <laughs> trial. Okay, good. I'm going to do a Google search. Um, ooh, I know what I want. Let me see if they have it here first. I'll look for a check mark. Ooh, perfect. So I'm going to use a check mark. Just do like one month free trial. Check. And definitely going to make this a lot smaller. I'm going to make this on brand color. It's not popping to me. Um.
Alright, so I'm kinda happy with this right now. I feel like I want to take this out. Because I honestly because it's gonna be here, I'm gonna replace it and put it here. It's not I'm, I don't need the website under it. It's unblocked already. If I was putting this on social media, I'm sure. Okay. Then, so right here, when I press uploads, there's images that I recently uploaded right here. And one of those images is my logo. So I'm gonna, bam, press it and it comes right in. So I just like how, like this, like, this weird, Look, I'm like you can't really see Encore, but you can see it. And then I have this one. Okay, no, I gotta take this one out. I have this one that goes on black background. So this one's gonna be. Oh no, it's the same one. So if you can do that, it looks like that. You can press Control V and you'll put it back to how it was. I just fixed. Um, okay, I'm gonna look for that logo that actually is supposed to go on a black background. Let me do it right now. This is my Google Drive, it's connected to my computer. If you don't know how to do that, I will definitely make a tutorial on that. I'm actually going to write that down right now. <laughs> Since it's on my mind and I like to forget things. Google Drive Tutorial. Done. Alright, so back to the logo. Logos. Okay, official Encore logo. So, yeah, there's all these logos. This one is the right one right here. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this one. And I'm gonna just upload these to it as well. So, I just have them all. Bam. So, while those are uploading, I'm gonna do a batch. And I'm going to open this dish. And this one. Hmm. Let me see the phone. So as you can see, designing something is like a super duper process. It's a real process. Um, how do I fix this one? I don't like this one at all. Like one at, all. at all. Like it's just very sketchy to think. Um, I guess I'll have to go with this one. This one is really small and maybe. Yeah, this is like a watermark or something. It's not working, it's not working. Delete. Okay, so we're gonna just stick to this right here. <laughs> Alright, so what I'm gonna do is download this right now. Bam. As a PNG, I like PNGs, it does give you other options. Download. I'm gonna save it. Drive. Fire.
down. So let's save and let me open it up to see my final design. There you go. So I'm going to take this design and just plop it right here and it will look way better than that thing because it's unbanned. So that is the end of the video. I'm going to be doing another video on how to actually edit a page and then using that design to do that. But thank you so much for watching. I'm going to be having a lot of tutorial videos. I hope you learned something of how to use Canva and little tips and tricks and all that stuff. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to just leave a comment. Um, please subscribe to the channel. There's going to be a lot of great, interesting content coming up. Um, I'm going to start doing face-to-face like, -face content, like questions and things like that. So, so I hope you learned a lot. I hope you enjoy this video. And I hope to see you in the next video. Alright, thanks. Bye.